But when you say you're going to church, what what kind of church you're going to, uh, brother? What what kind of church? Well, 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 I'm gonna go to both because if I go to one, it's like they're, they're gonna tell me whatever they believe, right? But I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go to both and to one because. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, like, what kind of church is it? Is it a Jehovah Witness uh, congregation? Is it a is it a Muslim? Yeah, is it... I'm gonna go to a Jehovah Witness church and uh, and also a Christianity church, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go and believe whatever they are. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, but gonna, let I'm me. I'm gonna trust a person. And, uh, I'm gonna like tell them to read uh, verses from the scripture. And uh, well, this is the thing, though. Know? But this is the thing, uh, Jesus. And I really, you know, feel for you, brother. You know, this is the thing. I just want to tell you, stay away from the Jehovah Witnesses, man. They're going to deceive you. They've been deceiving yeah. people from... Let me just tell you, okay? They've been deceiving people since 1876. They've yeah, been deceiving... I, I, I don't believe they're bad guys. You know, I don't believe, like... I don't believe the Muslims are bad guys. You know, if there's anything, everybody's just trying to save each other. And, uh, but they, it's just about, like, you know... Like, no. Let's say, what if I was Chinese, you know, and if, um, if I was, like, a Buddha, you know, a Buddhism? Yeah. If I was into that, like, you know... The Jehovah Witnesses, I think that they believe that you get a second chance if you want to introduce to, like, you know, uh, even, like, the, well, let me, you know, the, the, well, let me, the, let me ask you, let me ask you a question, all right? Um, yeah. do you think that Jesus Christ is dead now and he doesn't exist? No, 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 I, I believe that he does exist because, uh, but, okay, well, this is the thing, though, this is the thing, though, Jesus, yeah. okay, listen to me carefully, okay? I'm your friend, you know, you can call me anytime and I'm not, I'm not trying to argue anything. I care about you, you know what I mean? I don't know you, but everybody who's there on, on the, um, the YouTube account is, they're not just viewers to me, they're, they're, they're special people. So, yeah. so this is the thing, I'm trying to warn you because, see, they think that Jesus Christ is the Archangel Michael. They don't even believe that he's Jesus, they think that he's Michael, the Archangel, so they're trying to deceive you. Let me just finish. Let me just, let me just. Yeah. Oh no. They they believe in their teachings that 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 Jesus is the archangel. That he's an angel. That's all he is. That he's an angel. That he's a god. See, they want to deceive you though. And what you're gonna do if you go in there? They're gonna treat you nice. They're gonna say, "Come with us," and and we're gonna give you pamphlets, and then you can be baptized. And the problem. I, I uh, if you um, actually, I think you might be wrong because I, I don't know if I'm right, but um, you know, whatever you're gonna know. But uh, I told you, I, I was reading this magazine that just, well, kind of threw me off about the whole Jehovah Witness thing. I don't know if they're trying to change the, the game now or what, but uh, it said something about um, um, how you have to also accept Jesus or you won't get saved, kind of like Christianity, which I thought, like, what the heck? Like, you know, nobody, once you think of, if you think of a Jehovah Witness, like, the person that comes to your mind is, uh, you know, they're, they're not with Jesus, you know. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm going to church tomorrow, and then um, I'm gonna ask for that uh, pamphlet or whatever that magazine. It's only like a you know a couple of weeks old. It was within the last month. Hopefully, you have it, and I can like send you the you know um I can send you send it to you. No, no, no. You yeah, know? you can you can send me that. But I know what I'm talking about because I studied this movement. This is a dangerous movement. Yeah. Listen, I let me tell you a couple of things that I have real quick. All right, okay. I have um I have. Actually, a, a 1974, okay, collection of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles by the Watchtower Society saying that Jesus is going to come back invisibly. So they don't even believe that he has a, hello? John, yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't even believe that Jesus has a body now. See, they believe in the invisible presence of the Lord that he's going to come back. So they don't even believe that he has a body now. They don't even believe that he was risen from the dead. And also, they don't believe that he died upon a cross. They teach that it's a storehouse, that it's a, I mean, that they teach that it's a stake. So, number one, they don't believe that Jesus is equal with God. That is a fact. That's what they teach. And then they don't believe, let me just finish this. They don't believe, okay, they don't believe that Jesus is, um, that he was, that he died upon a cross, just like the Muslims. They don't believe that either. And also, they don't believe that Jesus was resurrected from the dead. And we are told in the Bible that he did and is all of those things, that he is equal with God. That's found in John chapter 5, verse 18, and a book called Philippians chapter 2, verse 6. He's equal. When you go there, you're going to be deceived. It's not like you're telling me something that, you know, that I don't, that, that I don't know and things like that, meaning I have studied the Jehovah Witnesses for a yeah, very long time. This just happened, um, this just happened, like I said, like a month ago, 
So, I, I mean, you probably know more than me, but um, the, the way I look at it from my point of view, it's like uh, the, the, the universe is huge. It's like huge, huge, huge. I don't know if you've seen this one show. It's called um, Exploring the Cosmos with uh, Neo or something. Yeah. But, yeah. It's like it tells you how big the universe is, and uh, I know how big we know it is because of uh, telescopes and you know, mm-hmm. whatever, however it is they do it, but it's like huge, 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 huge. You know, there's, there's like, there's freaking, I don't know how many, but there's like billions and billions of galaxies, Honest. and then after that, Honest. they might think that there's another universe because um, yeah. it, it, it's very likely, so, you know, but, it happens on the, uh, no, uh, but like, that, you know, so, yeah, but that, know, that I, yeah, but that don't have to do with anything with the witnesses on uh, uh, Jesus. Yeah. Like the witnesses, see, we we're not talking yeah, about like this. Good. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that we we. It's not that I don't believe that there's stars and galaxies, but that doesn't have to do anything with the witnesses. Like you can't trust. No, I know that. But the reason I was saying that is because, like, yeah. okay, so if you look at it from that point of view, and what we know for a fact, it's like okay. So, the, um, do you believe that this out uh, of all people that have ever lived on uh, planet planet Earth? That uh, Jesus like came, came like down here, you know. At at a, we know how big the universe is. Like, like uh, I don't know truly. I don't know if you believe that um, mm-hmm. uh, Jesus came down here, you know, as a, because God sent him down here, or because he is God. Like, well, you know, I believe real quick before you get to that. I believe what the Bible teach that before there was a creation, before anything began to be, it says in the beginning was the Word. Okay, that's 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 the Lord, you know, the Logos, the Word. That Jesus is called the the Word before anything began to be. He's called the Word. So it says in John one one, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the thing is, the Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that. They don't believe that Jesus is the eternal Word. Meaning, he they don't believe. And I have teachings, you know, chapter chapter three of, well, check this out, a 1968 book that I bought, uh, 1968 by the Jehovah Witnesses entitled, The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life Denies the Trinity on chapter three, in chapter three, and denies that Jesus is God flatly. And we have proof that Jesus is God in the Bible. Um, it says um, when he was born, that uh, you were to give his name Jesus, but then he has another name also, Emmanuel. And in, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, it says that Jesus <laughs> is, is God with us, Emmanuel, God with us there. And but the, yeah. but the Jehovah Witnesses, they don't want to accept the truth. They want to work for heaven. They want to work for the kingdom. They want to work, work, work. They, they think that they can earn eternal life and the bible says no you're not gonna you can sweat and pray and and knock on doors and stuff like that and go to kingdom hall you're not gonna get eternal life that way you get you get eternal life by receiving it as a free gift because romans chapter 6 verse 23 jesus says this it says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god look at that the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord and when you look, and when you look at the, let me just finish this real quick. When you look at their books, they don't mention the blood of Jesus Christ for nothing at all. They don't mention the resurrection of Jesus, critical. They don't mention the blood of Jesus, critical. They don't mention that Jesus is God because they don't believe in that, critical. And they're always trying to work for their salvation. And the and the problem is this. When God says not to do something and you do it, then that's a disobedient movement. They're trying to work for their salvation, and then they're trying to suck you into it by giving you the pamphlets and magazines and saying, listen, join us because we're the pure religion. But the problem is, and this is, and this is said by the Jehovah Witnesses themselves in their, in their own book, they say if a religion, right, if a religion wants to honor God, it's not gonna. It's not gonna accept certain things from the Bible and reject other parts of the Bible, and that's what the Jehovah Witnesses do. They reject some things, and they receive some things and reject others. But you can't do that, and that's a, and that's and that's saying to me very clearly that the Mormon Church, the Jehovah Witnesses, the Catholic Church are counterfeits. They're counterfeits. Yeah. And so stay away. 
from the Watchtower Society, go to a, a good Baptist church, go to a good Pentecostal church. You know, one of those churches are really good to go to. You know, go to a Presbyterian church. And, and, and they're going to teach you the real doctrines that come from the Bible, not phony so the, uh, doctrines, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so, the, so the main thing is uh, for Christianity, like, uh, you guys believe, Christians believe that, um, so it's, uh, it's uh, Jesus, right? It's, it's, uh, you guys treat Jesus as God and also the Holy Spirit. Like, I don't even know what the heck the Holy Spirit is. Well, be other than, um, I've heard before that the Holy Spirit is within you. That That's like the... Yeah, you know, well, we have to be very <laughs> careful. Yeah, we have to be... Yeah. And then I had another friend who said that, the, oh, no, the Holy Spirit, like, you know, he's like... Yeah, no, no, we have to be very careful with the Holy Spirit because we can't say, I don't know what the heck the Holy Spirit is, but we have to be, because the thing is that there is a penalty of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So we have to be very careful that we don't curse the Holy Spirit or speak, speak evil against the Holy Spirit because the, the thing is that the Holy Spirit, this is, this, is, this is who God says He is, okay? God, God says in a book, in the book called Deuteronomy, chapter 6, the Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Bible. You got, you know, you got Genesis, you got Exodus, you got uh, Leviticus, you got Numbers, you got Deuteronomy. Uh, the Bible has 66 books. You know, you got two parts of the Bible. You have like the Old Testament and you got the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament was written first in Hebrew and the New Testament was written in Greek. And the thing is that the fifth book of the Bible in Deuteronomy says in chapter 6, it says very clearly that God is one God. But when you go through the whole Bible, you know that this one God is manifested as three persons. Now, that is a mystery that we can't understand. How can the Bible tell me that he's one, yet it says in the Bible, uh, when God is speaking, let us do this or let us do that. So that's teaching me that, yeah, there's one God, but he's manifested in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and each are equal, completely, 100, absolutely, totally equal to each other. It's not like God the Father is more God than Jesus is, or like Jesus is yeah. more God than the Holy Spirit. No, all of them are equal, co-equal and co-eternal. That's, that's what to me, it gets like, I don't know, like, I, you know, if I read the beginning of the Bible, it says, you know, it says how God, you know, or like, you know, the Father, like how he created the hands and everything. That's what I mainly believe on, but, um, well, well, um, when you go to when you go to Genesis, and Genesis means beginnings. You know, it means beginning. Yeah. It means beginning. And the thing is that when you see Adam was responsible to to take care of the garden, God put him there. You know, even before all that began, you know, Satan, you know, Lucifer, he created God created an angel uh, called Lucifer, and he was a brilliant being. You know, he was mighty and powerful. Not mighty like God, but he was he was still powerful and mighty and things like that. And then um, Lucifer thought that he can take God out of his throne. Um, Lucifer, this 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 great, powerful, and angelic being, thought that he could be more powerful than God. And then he tried to take God off his throne, and then he failed, and God cursed him. And 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 the thing is, then after that, he made humanity, and then he tested man. He put him in the garden, and he said, "Listen." You and your wife can eat from every tree that I that I put for you in this garden. But you can't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because the day that you eat of that tree, you shall surely die. And what happened? Eve brought the fruit to Adam, her husband, and he ate and he sinned. And the sin of Adam, okay, passed through all of us. That infection of sin passed through all of us. It says, it says that the first Adam, right... He sinned, and that sin is passed to all of the generations. So that means that everybody who's born is a sinner. Now, that the Muslims don't teach that. They teach, and the Mormons too, they teach that when Adam sinned, it, you know, he sinned, God forgave him, that's the end of it. No, but God says no. It says, it says, the day that you shall eat of that tree, you shall surely die. So there's a spiritual death that's going on that's passed to everything. So we're all in trouble. Because yeah. we can say, but wait a minute, what? that's not fair, God, you know, curse Adam and now he's cursing me. I wasn't there in the garden. I don't have nothing to do with that. 
But the problem is that Adam was our father. He was our representative. Leave whatever they are. No, no. I'm going to I'm gonna trust a person, and you know, I'm going to like, tell them to read uh, verses from the scripture. And, uh, well, this is the thing, you know, though. But this is the thing, uh, Jesus, and I really you know, feel for you, brother. You know, that this is the thing. I just want to tell you, stay away from the Jehovah Witnesses, man. They're going to deceive you. They've been deceiving yeah. people from, let me just tell you, okay? They've been deceiving people since 1876. They've yeah, been deceiving. I, I, I don't believe they're bad guys. You know, I don't believe, like, I don't believe the Muslims are bad guys. You know, they, they believe that he's Jesus. They think that he's Michael, the archangel, so they're trying to deceive you. Let me just finish. Let me just, let me just, yeah, oh, no. They they believe in their teachings that 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 Jesus is the archangel, that he's an angel. That's all he is, that he's an angel, that he's a God. See, they want to deceive you, though. And what you're going to do, if you go in there, they're going to treat you nice. They're going to say, come with us, and, and we're going to give you pamphlets, and then you can be baptized. I think everybody's just trying to save each other, and, uh, but it's just about, like, you know, like, nope. let's say, what if I was Chinese, you know, and if, um, if I was, like, a Buddha, you know, a Buddhism, yeah. I was into that, like, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses, I think that, they believe that you get a second chance if you want to introduce to like you know uh even like the, well, let me you know, the, well, let me the, let me ask you let me ask you a question all right um yeah. do you think that Jesus Christ is dead now and he doesn't exist no no no, no. I, I believe that he does exist because uh, but, okay but well, this is the thing though this is the thing though Jesus, yeah. okay listen to me carefully okay i'm your friend you know you can call me anytime and i'm not i'm not trying to argue anything i care about you you know what i mean i don't know you but everybody who's there on on the um the YouTube account is they're not just viewers to me. They're they're, they're special people. So yeah. so this is the thing. I'm trying to warn you because see they think that Jesus Christ is the Archangel Michael. They don't even believe. But when you say you're going to church, what what kind of church you're going to, uh, brother? What what kind of church? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go to both because if I go to one, it's like they're, they're gonna tell me whatever they believe, right? But I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go to both and to one because no, no, no. Like, but I'm saying like like what kind of church is it? Is it a Jehovah Witness uh, congregation? Is it a is it a Muslim? Yeah, is I'm, it... I'm gonna go to a Jehovah Witness church and uh, and also a Christianity church, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go in 